Hi there. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Zomi 818C carbon fiber tripod. Uh, the comparison, for comparison, I have a uh, Bogan 3000 series tripod. Um, it's an older tripod uh, made by Manfrotto in Italy. Very solid. It's probably, uh, I'd say, the standard for professionals. And um, one thing that I've done though is in order to get a little extra height, about um, I think it was about five inches. Um, I went with a, uh, an, a different extension tube. This still stows with the uh, uh, length of the main legs, but uh, it gives you the extra height. So this is uh, a little bit uh, of a custom uh, tripod. Uh, weighs five pounds six ounces, and the Zome carbon fiber weighs uh, three pounds five ounces. Now. Um, it's uh, it's a very interesting design. It looks a lot like the uh, the Gizzo, um type design, and um, the legs extend down in this way. Uh, there's a touch of play in these when they're not um, uh, loaded up, but really, uh, to be honest, the uh, the Bogan have a similar amount of play, so um, that's pretty much to be expected. The the Zomai tripod comes with the uh, little velvet bag. I thought that was a little silly to begin with, but I realized that when you stow these legs, uh, the carbon fiber does help protect the carbon fiber legs from banging into the head. So with these twists, it's actually nice you can twist them all at once. And it's the same thing when you tighten. Now there's a little bit of a detent that you may notice. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but as you initially turn, it loosens, and then there's a little bit of a, a click before it really starts to move. So uh, again, don't know if that's intentional, but I do kind of like that. And then, as you can see, we're basically at a similar height, and. Uh, the motions, this is a, a ball head. There is a level here, so this does allow you to control both. Uh, I'm more accustomed to this type where you adjust your uh, different tilt axes separately, but I know uh, some people who, some friends of mine, who actually do prefer this because you set everything at once. So um, that's how you get to the uh, tripod setting. Now. If you prefer to use a monopod, you have a couple options. Uh, first option, of course, is simply to hold your legs together and shoot in that manner. But uh, the other way takes a little bit of effort. Um, this one leg, as you'll see, has a rubber ring on it. The others don't. Now, the first time I did this, I really had to crank on it. In fact, I had to contact customer service to make sure that this was the way to do it, So, because I didn't want to break it. I basically have to loosen that. Now, again, the first time I did that, it took a lot more effort than I was expecting. So that gives you that leg. To remove the top, you have to unscrew this bottom comes out, that comes out, now you have your head separate, there is an adapter piece, like so, this goes into the bottom here, This goes into the leg here, and you now have a monopod, and as you can see, um, I'm about six foot, so not quite six feet, but taller than most monopods you'll uh, find. The feet do have a, uh, the ability to convert over to spikes. Oops. There you go. So you could screw spikes in here. Uh, they were not supplied, 
but um, it's a pretty standard, I believe that's a 3 8 inch thread. So anyways, um, pretty impressed overall fit and finish, very nice, and uh, the difference in weight, well over 2 pounds from the uh, Bogan Manfrotto. So thanks for watching.